Alright, I just talked for probably 10 or 12 minutes before I realized that I think Sassy had stepped on my computer keyboard and had turned off the recording. That's a little bit annoying. Okay, so hello, welcome to the little apartment on the prairie. Sassy, keep your butt off my keyboard. So... I was talking all about spring, how it's spring today, because I collected my first handful of dandelions, which is how I decided it's spring. But then I also found a tick crawling on my shirt after taking Isaac for a walk, which I think also means it's spring. So I guess it's spring here, although it's still March, and I live in Nebraska, so you know we could still have a blizzard. Last year we had snow until the end of April, I think it was April 28th that snowed. So we'll see, but I'm so excited about the dandelions. And I was rambling on and on and on about all the stuff I do with dandelions. I make dandelion sap. I make dandelion jelly. I bake dandelion cookies, and they are so yummy. And I totally lost my train of thought because, well, because I talked to myself for like 10 minutes before I realized that Sassy had stepped on the keyboard. Man, Sassy, you are lucky you are so cute. That's all I got to say. Because otherwise, you would not be living here, darling. Okay. Also, she's playing with something on my wall, which I think is dirt and not a bug. I guess I hope it's dirt and not a bug. Okay, so dandelions. Yay. I'm so happy for spring. I'm so tired of COVID. I'm tired of winter. I'm tired of being in the house. Um, this summer is going to be a little different for me. This spring is going to be a little different. Now Sassy's climbing on the garbage can and she's probably going to fall in. And that reminds me that's when I think she stepped on the keyboard when I was trying to save her butt from falling in the garbage can before. She does not learn. Okay, so because of Isaac, this summer is going to be a little different. He's not up for hiking. We're not going to be doing any camping trips because we did a couple camping trips over the winter and I enjoyed myself, but he really didn't. Um, he likes being outside. He likes sniffing the things, but you know, and peeing on all the trees, but he wants to sleep in his own bed. And these days, like, sometimes he's up for a long walk and sometimes he's not. But I can't even anticipate when he's going to be up for one. Um, occasionally, I can guess that he's not going to be. Because, like, if I take him out to pee in the morning and he has a really hard time go coming back up the stairs, then that tells me it's going to be a day that he needs to really take it easy. But he might have a day when he comes up the stairs with no trouble, but he's still, when we go out for a walk, he just wants to go for short walks. Sometimes, you know, he wants to go for a really long walk, even when the weather's not too good. And I've been trying to do that with him, even if the weather is unpleasant, because I don't know how much time he's going to have left that he can do long walks. So we pretty much walk as much as he wants and wherever he wants. That sassy playing with one of those little plastic balls with jingle bells in it. She loves those things. Loves them, loves them. Anyway. But, like, as far as planning to go on a hike somewhere, you know, I could plan a hike on, like, flat ground and a hike that was, let's say, a mile long. And Isaac might be able to do that. He might enjoy it. But he might have a hard time doing it, and he might not enjoy it. And it's possible that if I drive someplace to, to then take a hike, that we get there and Isaac would be like, nah, I don't even want to get out of the car. I'll just lay in the back seat and take a nap. Because I've tried to go places to go hiking with him, and sometimes he does that now. On other times, I've gone someplace and he's jumped out and he's been so excited to be there. So I just can't tell, but it... I don't know. I mean, on the times when he then gets out of the car and wants to go for a hike, it seems like it's all worth it. But when I drive there and he won't get out of the car, then it's like, well, this really wasn't worth it, was it? So I don't know. We're probably not going to do as much of that this summer. Although the truth is I need to do some of that. I need to be outdoors and in nature because that's something that's really healing to me. So... 
there are a lot of places near my home, you know, that I can get to in like 15 or 20 minutes where I can take a nice hike. And I'll probably do that and hike for an hour and then go back home and he won't be by himself that long and I can still get my time out in nature that I need. Even if he doesn't want that. So we have dandelions. And I make dandelion jelly and dandelion salve. And for a couple weeks in spring, my life is like all about dandelions. I'll still do uh, the food pantry videos. I might not be doing many other videos. Well, actually, I'm going to do videos showing what I'm doing with dandelions. That's what I'm going to do. So besides the food pantry videos... Um, there will be a period of a few weeks when all the videos you see are going to have something to do with dandelions probably because my life revolves around dandelions for that period when like the yards are just covered with dandelions. Quit, you're bumping the computer. Um, whiskers is like rubbing the side of her face on my keyboard. So we have dandelions here all summer long, but there's that period in the spring when for a couple of weeks when they are just so thick like yards look yellow instead of green and that's the best time to pick them because otherwise you have to do a lot of crawling around on the ground and it's a lot more work to get enough dandelions to do anything with so you got to take advantage of them when you can get them really so i definitely do that and then there are other plants, you know, from there on through the summer that I do a lot of foraging for, and I'm looking forward to doing even more foraging. This year, I've got a couple books um, that people bought me for, like, the holidays and stuff on edible plants and medicinal plants that grow wild here in this part of the country. So I'm really excited about that. And you'll get to see some of that, too. And then, of course, I'm hoping to actually grow some stuff. I'm planning to kind of do a container garden this year. So we'll see how that works. Right now, I've got some green peppers, some banana peppers that have sprouted. I planted several other kinds of peppers. None of them are sprouting yet, so I don't know about that. Um, and then I've got several types of tomatoes that are sprouting, so... That's what I got sprouting so far, and I'm very excited about it. If I can just grow, like, tons of peppers and tomatoes, I will be happy because I love peppers and tomatoes. And I am out of canned tomatoes because um, I didn't can as many last year. So this year I hope I can really can a lot of tomatoes. So anyway, that's what's going on here. You all let me know if spring has come to where you live yet and what things you're looking forward to doing this spring or summer. But we'll talk more about summer when it gets a little bit closer. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, do leave me a comment. It, YouTube likes it when people comment. What it does is the more people interact with the video, whether it's a comment or you just like it or you share it or whatever, then YouTube, when somebody else searches for a related topic, like dandelions, um, the videos that people have interacted with the most will come up sooner in their algorithm. It's kind of complicated how they do it, but anyway. Um, I love interacting with people in the comments too. So it's, that's one of the things I really, really like about doing this YouTube channel is getting to talk to people in the comments. And so I'd love to know what you guys are doing this spring. And that's it for today. Everybody have a good rest of the weekend and I will see you soon.